Eastern Carolina is home to all kinds of wildlife, but as the temperatures get colder, it's time for manatees to head down south. On Monday, a manatee was rescued from the Tor River at an outfall canal near Greenville. This video showed it all. News 12's Elena Laster joins us now in the studio with how it all happened. Elena, how did they find her there? SeaWorld Orlando had been tracking her for about two weeks based on local sightings. They say that they knew right away they had to rescue her with the dropping temperatures here. This manatee was found in a critical state in the Tar River on Monday. The 900-pound female was taken from the Greenville Utilities Commission outfall canal where she was staying to keep warm. We always uh, have the best hope that this animal is going to, to continue heading south where it, it should be this time of the year, um, but it kind of got locked into a warm water outflow at a, at a wastewater treatment area. Brant Gabriel is the curator of rescue operations for SeaWorld Orlando. He says that any temperature below 68 degrees can become detrimental to manatees. I mean, you know, the water temperatures were dipping down to a very critical temperature for the survival of the manatee, and we knew that there's a pretty good chance with the cold fronts coming in that it was not going to make this trek. Manatees are prone to move toward fresh and brackish water, says Gabriel. So to him, it really is not too surprising that this one found her way here, especially in creeks and spaces where there's warmer water from a factory. Factories, power plants, um, anywhere that's discharging warmer water, sometimes these manatees will get locked into these warm water outflows and kind of stay there. But some may wonder how she ended up in the Tar River this far north. Gabriel says it isn't very unusual. The water's um, definitely warm enough to for their survival. There's food sources up there. Um, but as the warm as the cold weather comes in and the temperatures drop, it, it's they should be heading back south. She had been found severely dehydrated and with a watercraft related injury. It became clear to the rescue team that if they did not capture her in that moment, she wouldn't make it. She's, to me, she's very critical right now, but I can tell you this, that the guys did see her start to nibble on, on uh, vegetation yesterday here at the park, which is, a, it, you know, I'm not, I wouldn't make any predictions right now with any animal that's just got rescued, but there are some, some good signs. The 10 hour drive back to SeaWorld Orlando was not easy, says Gabriel, but she was kept under a close observation and is now on the road to recovery.